Hey besties, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be gracing you with a bookshelf reorganization video. It's been a long time since I reorganized my bookshelves and it's looking a hot mess right now. So I need to go through and kind of reorganize how I'm doing things. I'm not really sure the format in which I'm going to organize these books because I don't really have enough of one particular genre to do it by genre how a lot of other booktubers do. I feel like I have a very modest book collection in comparison to other booktubers. Obviously, maybe to like some random people, I still have a lot because I definitely think I have over 100 books, but I don't have like 500 or 600 like other people do so I don't really know how I'm going to organize this but we're going to give it our best shot and let's just get into it this is my first time ever owning this many books and let me just tell you taking them all down is not fun the reviews are in 0 to 10 do not recommend okay besties let's state the obvious I have changed my clothes because I could not handle wearing that dress anymore. It was just getting in the way and it was hindering my progress. As you can see, we haven't really made any progress. So we need to just get into this. I am really paralyzed with indecision. I don't know what I want to do. I'm feeling like I might put all of my like YA stuff down here. I might honestly put my Jane Austen books back where they were because I think I really liked them being right behind me when I was filming. I, know, I feel like I'm gonna end up putting my shelves exactly how they were before with like minor tweaks, but I don't know. I am so indecisive, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I am stressed. Houston, we do have a problem. I spent the time putting all of these young adult books here and I thought, looks pretty good. And then I was like, I wonder if you can see that when I'm filming. And so I pulled up one of my videos and this shelf is so visible and that was the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted this to be the books that I still love and wanna keep, but I don't necessarily want them on display. And this shelf is very much on display. So I do need to move these back to where they used to be. I think I'm gonna move them up here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put my adult fantasy here. I think that's gonna be the vibe. Yeah, I think I like this. I put my graphic novels there and then the rest of this is like adult fantasy and sci-fi. Although I don't love that. I may, mm, I'm gonna move that over, mm, okay. We're gonna put adult thrillers right here at the top. I kind of already had them in this spot. It was like thrillers mixed with other random shit. So I'm gonna put them back here. I feel like I have more to organize. So I think this will be a good spot for them. These are technically dark romance, but they do, oh my fucking God, that was so rude. They technically are dark romance, but they have like adult thrillery, criminal minds vibes. So I'm gonna put them here because these are my bookshelves and I make the rules. I've decided I don't like these books being here. This is a bunch of random mangas that I have and then also books from high school that I don't wanna get rid of. And so I think I'm actually gonna move these here. And then I think over here, I'm gonna put my Nevermore series. I like the way that I'm going with this. I, th I think I like that. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I'm going to put my Anne of Green Gables books back here where they were before and then I don't really know what's going to go down there. That's a stack of books that I am going to unhaul. I also need to go through and organize this bottom shelf. This is all of my books that I'm selling on Pingo Books and they're not all currently listed. So while I have the couch pushed out of the way, I do need to go through and organize those. I'll link my Pingo Books down below in case there's any books that you want to purchase and I can send them to you. Ow! Ah! My oh guy just stepped on this. Okay, I've run into an issue. I've run out of books to place over here. 
I really wanted to heavily put my favorites here so they would always be behind me when I'm filming, but now I don't have anything to put over here. Share, I think I might have to take all of these and put those back here. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's a, it's a predicament for sure, for sure. Okay, besties, I have finished reorganizing my bookshelves. It did take me many hours yesterday and I did have a casualty of my camera. I mean, my camera's fine, it still works. I'm obviously recording on it right now, but I accidentally knocked it off a shelf while I was, whew, sorry, whipping your hair around while you have lip gloss on is not the vibe. I had it on a shelf and I knocked it off and now the lens protector like won't close and it's a whole thing. I did have a mental breakdown about it last night. So I'm finishing the video today. It's the next day. I recreated my makeup and my look for you guys so that we could just talk about what I did here. So this shelf only changed a little bit. I ended up putting a lot of the books back where they used to be. This is now my sort of like YA shelf and then into like middle grade. Then I randomly have a book of night on display here because I love Book of Night. I know I'm like the only person in the universe that loves this book, but I love it. So I put one of my really pretty copies on display. I took the dust jacket off and she is sexy if you ask me. And then here I kind of ran out of books because I don't really have that huge of a book collection. And so I just put this box here. This is the box that my penguin cloth bound Jane Austen books came in. So I just put that there and there's a picture of Billy and a candle. And then we have my Veronica Speedwell books. This is not really organized by any sort of genre or whatever, because then we have Anne of Green Gables. This was actually here in the same spot before. I just really like this position, so I put it there again. I just have a couple of favorites. I got two Book of Nights, because I have three copies of Book of Night, because I am unwell. We can call this a favorite shelf, because Veronica Speedwell, Book of Night, Fourth Wing, and then Anne of Green Gables. Yeah, those are favorites. So actually there is a rhyme and a reason to this. Okay, moving on. This is similar to what was here before. If you've seen my bookshelf tour that I posted earlier this year, this is all of my adult thriller and horror. And then I also have the diviners here randomly. No real reason besides I just like them on this shelf. And I thought they would look really cute stacked like this. And then I have my sort of adult romance vibes, contemporary, whatever. I don't know. Because Pachinko and Taylor Jenkins Reid don't really fit on here, but I like the way it looks. So that's what we're doing here we have my Jane Austen books. These were here before. I put them back because I just like them being right behind me when I'm filming. And then we kind of go into some other favorites. We've got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. That is always a hard book title to say. And then we've got the Mindfuck series, Encyclopedia of Fairies, A Diary of Blood. And then I just flipped this book around because it's for one of my upcoming romance subgenre videos. And I don't really want to put it on display, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So I put it there. And I feel like it adds a little spice right there. And then I have some more favorites here. Got the Hollow Places, Half a Soul, and The World Gives Away. This was also here before. I ended up putting a lot of things back because I don't like change. And that's just who I am as a person. And we have to accept that. Right here, way over here, we have all of my books from high school. And then we have a random manga series and then some graphic novels. And then this kind of goes into like adult fantasy. I am kind of living for this. This is definitely a new shelf. I did not have my books organized like this before. And I think I like it. And then we have more adult fantasy. We've got my, oh my God, this is like hurting my knees. <laughs> We've got Yumi and the Night Painter and then Trust of the Emerald Sea and then all of my fairy loot editions that have like really cute sprayed edges. I put facing outwards like this. Also, this is another copy of Book of Night. I actually forgot. I think I have four copies of Book of Night. This stack right here is a bunch of books that I'm unhauling. And then that leads me into this bottom row here that you see. <sighs> Why did getting down on the ground put me out of breath? I don't know. But we're not here for a health checkup, okay? This whole row here is all the books that I'm unhauling and selling on Pango Books. I will put my Pango Books account down in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of these books. I have a lot of like Book of the Month books and other random things that I've just collected over the years. I don't know, I'm kind of a hoarder sometimes with books that I want to get rid of because I'm always like, oh, I could sell this. And then I just never list them. So I finally listed all of these. So I think I have like 60 books listed. <sighs> I really am out of breath. That brings me to the end of this bookshelf organization. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Also, let me know if you like my new dress that I got. I got this because I'm going to Scotland in September and we're gonna go to some castles and I wanted to take some photos. Can you just picture me like at a castle being like, you know, very majestic. Yeah, I thought that would be a cute moment for me. Also, for the thumbnail, I put a little bow in my hair so it could be very like aesthetic. Like, oh my gosh, look at me. 
I'm getting a book. Like, I don't know. I really, I really thought that this would be the look for organizing my books. But before you go, I do actually have an announcement about my travel trip. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, then you can stay here. And if not, and you've made it this far in the video, feel free to use the bow emoji because of the bow in my hair. And then we'll have another emoji for the people who stay for the Trova Trip announcement. Okay, if you're still here and you wanna hear about my Trova Trip, it is now live for sign up. I have mentioned this already before, but the price is $2,699 for this trip. We're going to Croatia, specifically the Dalmatian coast. The activities that we'll be doing include seeing a waterfall, just taking in the sights, beach time, going to some wineries, trying oysters, doing a bike ride. And the most exciting part is that we will be having a tour guide who is a local that really understands Croatia and they can just like tell us the cool things to do there and i'm so excited i'm also going to be hosting a book club so for anyone who signs up for the trip we'll have a group chat going where we can decide what book we want to read together and then we'll get to discuss it on one of the days this trip is going to be full of relaxation and reading and just trying new things and seeing new things and i'm so excited especially because we get to look at a lot of the architecture a lot of the architecture in croatia is venetian because of who built it and that is so exciting to me i love architecture so i really hope that if you're interested and it's in your budget that you could travel with me because I think it's gonna be so exciting to hang out with you guys and just have a little besties trip. If you click the link in the description, you can actually pull up the itinerary and see a lot more details about what is included. The first eight people to sign up will get the early bird price, which is $25.99. You get $100 off. All you need to secure your spot is a 25% deposit and then there are payment plans that you can choose from. The trip is a whole year away, so there's plenty of time to save up, which is super exciting. I'm genuinely so excited to meet all of you and hang out and travel and I think this trip is going to be so iconic so if it's in your budget if it's in your means and it's something that you're interested in i definitely recommend that you sign up because i feel like this is going to be an unforgettable trip so if you stayed for my announcement feel free to use the plain emoji down below in honor of this trip thank you all so much for watching you're all beautiful have a nice day